Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here at Spectacle Lake, British Columbia, and I'm going to be doing some trout fishing. Hopefully I'll be doing some catch and cook, because I have all my fire equipment with me, my fire starting stuff. But um, first up, we got to catch a trout. I think I might have just got my first hit. Right. I think I might have my... Yeah. Um, I think I just missed my first fish of the day so far. Just cast it out on the, I want to say, the south end of uh, the lake. And, um, oh yeah, it's actually, I think it might be a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. That's the first one. Really small one, actually. This one's probably about, um, oh, he just came off. It was probably about, I don't know, just under 10 inches. It's probably a nine and a half, maybe an eight incher. Um, as you can see, my leader is a big... Uh, I think it might be one ounce, one ounce, or uh, I don't really know how much it weighs. And then probably about one, two, three, just about four feet of line. I've got uh, eight pound line on today just because yesterday I was fishing the Elk Lake tournament and um, I was bass fishing and I haven't had the time to change up my line. But this should be fine because it would get out of snags and everything. And then I have a small hook, as you can see, small little hook and some uh, pink uh, power bait on. And what I've been just doing, as I just caught my first fish there, well, technically I didn't catch it, it came off right there, casting out right directly in front of me. Um, if you can, uh, if you guys have a fish here, it would be that, and then that bush, and then straight in the middle here, and then uh, putting it in this little bush right here, tightening it, just till you can see it, just till the line's a little bit flat, and then just watching my rod. I've had it in for about three minutes now and I just had my first fish. And um, yeah, I'll be waiting for some more bites and uh, when I get a bite, I will bring you guys back. I think I might have my second fish on right now. I'm generally sure that I have my second fish as my line is moving from side to side as if the fish was on. If I don't, then that's fine, but it just feels like, yeah, there's a, this fish right there. As you can see, there we go. First trout brought in right here. This is probably about, I don't know, a solid, oh, mm, probably a 10 incher. You can see a little claw marks here from an otter or something or a bass. Just gonna take the hook out. Little pliers here. There we go. The hook's out. Release this little guy. He's got some strange colorings here. It doesn't look like he's healthy. He's got some green algae growing on him. LG. And there he goes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys back when I get another fish. It seems to be pretty active right now. Just got my second fish here. Just got a big bite, big hit this time. Oh yeah, there he goes. Little trout. He is probably about nine inches. I shall start weighing them soon actually. I just haven't got all my equipment out yet, but um nice little trout. I'm gonna take the hook out of this guy and I'm um, giving him a clean release. Um yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I know get another fish. I think I might have, I think I might have another trout on. I've got two small hits. Trout, small one, very small one. This looks wild. Colors in this are a lot different. That's yeah, a wild one. Right in the lip too. Ah. Too small the way. Nice little trout. It looks wild because it has all its fins on. It's got that. Those fins still on. And you see these little markings here, the little uh, purple dots. Usually the wild ones are the ones that have those. Usually the ones that are farmed uh, just grow silver and you can't see those. 
This one looks very wild, and it's nice to see that there's some wild ones still living in here. Give this guy a quick release here. healthy trout bring you guys back when I have another fish just got some more bites um, uh, my line's going out again with the trout on or the new one oh yeah definitely a trout on I don't know if you guys can remember the last trout I caught, but um, this one is definitely a farmed one. As you can see, all of this line, there isn't the polka dots really. It's a little bit of them, but it's a lot, lot, lot less than the other ones. Looks like a beautiful trout. Any of this guy clean release ones, I've taken the hook out. And um, uh, catch some more. Bring you guys back when I get another fish or a bite. Another fish on. Nice trout. Um, I think this might be a, a rainbow, but I don't know. It's got all these stripes on it, which cutthroats usually have. Might be a cut bow, which is the rainbow cutthroat uh, cross mix, but uh, I don't know. It's a nice one. It's uh, probably about. Let me see the weight. Looks half decent. It weighs just under a pound. It weighs at. Let's see. Oh, wait, it weighed about 75, uh, 0 0.75 pounds, which is not a lot, but it's it's a it's a decent trout. Get this hook out. Just got the little hook out of here. Nice trout. Gonna give him a quick release here. I'll bring you guys back when I get another trout. Here's a good one. This is a big bite, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, there you go. I feel ya. There you beautiful trout it's a nice rainbow it's a little bit it's a little bit deep down hopefully I can release them I'll tell you guys in the next fish if I release them why I'd keep them but um yeah it's a beautiful fish nice rainbow probably about yeah probably about just under a pound again or maybe a little bit over and uh beautiful fish uh hopefully release them and uh bring you guys back when I get another trout Another nice looking one, nice and shiny, beauty. Look at that, yeah, right there, the tongue. Should be pretty easy to get the hook out. Um, hopefully I'll release this guy. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys if I get another fish.
this little guy. Or a small one. This guy's probably 11 inches. 10 and a half. I'm trying to release this guy, take the hook out. As you can see, it's stuck in right there. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get out, but I will try my best. And if I can, then I'll release him. I shall bring you guys back when I get another fish. So I think I'm going to end my video now with um, a few trout, about three trout I got. Um, I kept both, I kept the three that I'm going to bring home. Um, I'll try and do a cooking video. If I don't, then I kind of suck, but um, I'll try and do a video when I get home on how to cook the trout and uh, the way I cook them and my technique. And uh, uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm back in my house cooking the trout. So guys, I'm back in my house. I'm going to be cooking these trout over um, just the oven today. And uh, first up, I'm just going to cut the heads off with uh, scissors. Cut right through here. See the heads come off. You can eat them with the heads on too, but it doesn't matter. Just take them off. Just take through here. Cut through. have it. We got two fish without heads. And then next step, we're going to start cooking them. I'll show you the steps. So we're going to let the pan heat up for a little bit here. And then we're going to put some margarine on. There we go. Let it melt. Once it's melted, then we're going to put the trout in. And I shall bring you guys back for the next step. Okay, so all the butter here is melted. So we're just going to put the trout in here. And then inside of the trout, we're going to put this little uh, margarine, spread it around, rub it on both sides. Both sides of the fish here. The second fish here. Rub it around. Leave it to melt. Add a little bit more here. You can just choose different amounts for different flavors. I'm a bit because I like this flavor. And we're going to let this sit for a little while until the margarine is completely melted. And uh, I should bring you guys back after that. Okay, most of the margarine is melted, so we're going to put some lemons in. As many as you can fit in. You can fit in two here. Just close the trout up. And try and fit some more in here. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper on. Should be good for a while. We're gonna let this sit and then flip it, and then uh, that should be pretty much it. I'll bring you guys back on the next step. Um, so we're all done with this now. I finished cooking the trout. Looks pretty good. Lasted for four meals. One of them is still in the oven. Um, add some chips and some vegetables to make it a little healthier. But all in all, pretty good. We put it in the oven to cool down for about around uh, fifteen. 20 minutes and it ended up pretty well I can say it's a result um, it's gonna taste great and uh, thanks for watching check out my next videos and subscribe please